So, as an investor, we actually have a function in society. I know that's surprising for some uh, to hear, but um, um, uh, and that function is not so high, um, depending on what kind of investor you are. Uh, but um, so basically, um, as an investor, it's your job to um, um, to basically uh, buy what's uh, not popular but will be needed in the future, uh, so that uh, prices are being pushed up and production is being raised. Um, uh, so that in the future, when people need it, um, it is ready uh, for them and uh, available. Um, and people will also be willing to pay a higher price then uh, because they need it um, and you have it. Uh, so you can uh, also make a profit then by selling it for a higher price uh, and, um, and um, that's it. Um, so, so when, when, when an asset a stock, a certain stock of a company or a cryptocurrency um, or real estate or gold, it goes down a lot in value, um, but uh, you do your research and you realize that actually people will want this in the future. Um, and, and, and so if you don't buy it, uh, well, then it will be destroyed and it will not be available in the future. Eh? Um, in the extremity, if nobody buys it, the price will go to zero. And for real estate, that means that it will be destroyed. Um, uh, it will be flattened and it will become agricultural land again. That's what happens now in some small villages in France, uh, for example. They, they just empty totally out. Nobody gives money for it. Nobody wants it anymore. The value goes to zero and, and, and the homes are being removed. It's gone. Uh, but the same is true for a company. When the stock goes down a lot, um, everything, uh, like the company, will uh, close its doors. Um, I mean, that's how it is. Um, uh, even if you're making, uh, uh, have a business that has profits, but, but investors don't value the business. Well, the owner of the company can't sell his business for any money. And so the moment uh, he stops, uh, the business is gone. Many businesses close that way. Um, uh, and the same is true for a cryptocurrency. If nobody values it, uh, even though the software continues to exist, nobody uses it and it dies too. Um, uh, many currencies, cryptocurrencies have uh, died in the past bear market. So, um, uh, your job as an investor is important, um, but if you're wrong, if you buy something, if you buy those houses in France now for bar absolutely bargain prices, um, yeah, it can be that uh, actually nobody because your opinion is that people will come back and it will pay a lot more for them in the future. Uh, well, it could be that you're wrong and then you will lose all the money you put in. The same is true for a company and a cryptocurrency. So uh, as an investor, you really need to figure out whether this ha will have value in the future for people or not. Um, and so, um, uh, but Many, many investors do it wrong, uh, and so um, they do the inverse. Um, so instead of, um, like, the only you only create value when you, when you buy, for other people, uh, when you buy something that's not valued for them, by them today, uh, but it becomes valuable in the future. Uh, only then you are creating value investor and making money. However, if you do the inverse, you're not creating value, you're destroying value. Well, let's say you invest in, in a cryptocurrency and, and, uh, and it goes down a lot in value or, or in homes in France or in a company and uh, the other investors or, or people just want less and less of it. The prices go down and, and you have also invested in it, prices go down. But yeah, after the price has gone down a lot, you also come to the same conclusion as them saying like, yeah, indeed, this has no future. Nobody will want to live anymore in these villages in the future or, um, 
nobody will want to have this cryptocurrency anymore in the future uh, and uh, and you sell it too well then you just um, uh, are causing together with the others for this uh, business or cryptocurrency to close doors and if if it was wrong uh, if indeed in the future people do want this uh, then you have destroyed value because people do want it so you have to, they have to rebuild it from scratch these homes in those French villages or um, or, 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 or that company or, or that cryptocurrency um, and so um, commodities also eh? uh, when commodities go down a lot in value uh, it's investors that will save save it eh? so let's say oil, oil goes down a lot in value uh, that means, for example, after 2008 um, or in 1999, it went to $20, then it went to $40. Uh, so uh, it's investors that will save the, 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 the commodity by buying it uh, at a che very cheap price when nobody wants it uh, and thereby increasing production or keeping production alive uh, the, uh, that would otherwise be shut down and destroyed. Uh, and, and, and if they are right, uh, they will make very good money on that because, uh, uh, yeah, voila. So that's how it works. But so, um, yeah, if you're doing the inverse and investor, you're really like um, causing destruction. And, and, and so uh, it's the same in, in cryptocurrencies. If you sell at the low, uh, what you're basically do is, is, is causing destruction and, 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 and your capital, your own capital will also be destroyed due to that. So I think that's very interesting uh, that you keep these these fundamentals of investing in mind um, uh, because it really helps uh, to make a profit for yourself. Uh, for example, today, cryptocurrency, uh, what's your job today as an investor? It's to satisfy the demand of all the new investors that are coming in today. Uh, that's your job. So you should now be selling at these much higher prices than they were one or two years ago. Uh, they are like uh, 20 times higher. Uh, yeah, it's your job to, to, to sell to them. It's not your job to buy from them. That would be like, that, that's, that's not, uh, or, or to buy from others, other investors. No, um, that's not your function in society. Um, that's what you should do when, when nobody wants it. Uh, then it's your job to buy from them or from other investors. Uh, but not when everybody wants it. And then your job is to sell it. Uh, and, and, and if you that, do that job properly, you're making money. Um, and indeed, uh, if you run your business well, you're not going to sell all your supplies in one go because you don't know the demand could go up a lot more later on prices too eh? and so you're gonna sell only a piece and the next piece you sell you sell at a higher prices and you always sell only a percentage of your stock because you can't really estimate how high it will go how high the demand will go this can go crazy eh? so you always sell a piece but at ever increasing prices that's how you run your business properly Oh, something else I found interesting is that um, why are um, ICOs so, so popular today? And this is my biggest failure as an investor because uh, your function as an investor can become a lot higher when you not just buy an existing asset on the market, but when you finance new enterprise. Uh, uh, startups, uh, you give uh, an entrepreneur capital, uh, and he can now do something he couldn't do before. That's where an investor will create the most value if he does it right, but it's also the highest risk because a lot of entrepreneurs that don't have the money uh, from themselves or haven't built the money themselves turn out to be not comp competent to, to, to use your money and, and, and lose your money uh, and, and are not able to create value because um, most... Uh, competent entrepreneurs uh, are also able to self-finance eh, or to 
to build uh, something small, make first money and then build on top of that and, and that thereby also uh, hold 100% of the control. So, so it is difficult as an investor to find that entrepreneur that does need your money and is very competent to build value. Um, so, but I really failed in that in the cryptocurrency industry. I, I never invested in ICOs and, 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 and this has been my biggest mistake by far in this bull market. I've seen many ICOs pass, I never invested. And still today I, I, I pass on ICOs uh, that two weeks later are an enormous profit. For example, Veritasium, I considered investing in three, four weeks ago, <laughs> four weeks maybe. Uh, and if I would have done so, I would have again made a killing uh, like I would have if I would invest in the ICO of IOTA. Uh, I also almost did that. Ethereum, I also almost did that. So many ICOs I didn't do and it was a big mistake. And so, but, but and that's why there is such an ICO craze today because that's where massive profits have been generated by people that participated and now, and now they just... Wanna, like these people have made so much money they also don't do research anymore they just throw in a lot of their money in the next ICO because well they just make their simple calculation like if only one wins out I gain back all the others so um, uh, it makes economical sense for them to just splash money around now uh, to all the ICOs and don't do any research anymore but that's also how bubbles happen and so uh, I, I'm passing on an ICOs at the start because, well, you know, of, of wrong thinking. But uh, today I'm passing on on ICOs because, to me, I think um, I think we are in a bubble and also for ICOs. And so it's just not. Uh, even though I was wrong to not invest in the past, I think I'm right to not invest right now because. Um, with ICOs, it's also like, do they need your, if they really need your money, you're going to get, create a lot of value. If you're the only investor that wants to invest in them, then you're going to get favorable, favorable deals that will make you a lot of money. And that's why these, many of these early ICOs were such big money makers. But, um, but, but later on, when, 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 when they can get money so easily from, from investors, your 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 um, conditions will be um, uh, bad, or it will be much harder to get in, and so it require much more work from you, uh, or much more connections, uh, or, or um, um, and also many will start to raise money that really are not competent uh, because it's easy money, uh, and so so the the the, the hit and miss. Uh, rate will become much worse so whereas every ICO of a year ago was like from um, maybe at like five in ten chance to be a success not right now will be only one in ten I don't know the exact numbers but it will have gone down a lot so and then on top of that you have the bear market will likely happen and so I think many of these ICOs today will quote at much lower valuation sometimes in the future. So that's why I don't do it, but it was a, the biggest mistake of me not to do this because like in startup ICOs, that's, that's, that's where you create the most value, but that's a great tip for the next bear market. Instead of buying existing, um, existing coins, it might be a very good idea to also invest heavily into uh, ICOs that launch then. Mm -hmm.